Hello, tech enthusiasts and AI aficionados. Today, we're delving into an intriguing aspect of artificial intelligence, chain of thought reasoning. We'll be examining how two distinct projects, Pocket Grok and G1, have implemented this concept. Both approaches have their merits, so let's break them down. Pocket Grok, a Grok in your pocket. Pocket Grok, a Grok in your pocket. Pocket Grok, a Grok in your pocket. First up is Pocket Grok. This project exemplifies a modular, object-oriented design philosophy. At its core, we have the Chain of Thought Manager class, which orchestrates the reasoning process. This class is complemented by other components like the Grok Provider and Web Tool, creating a well-structured ecosystem of interrelated classes. The Chain of Thought Manager in Pocket Grok is particularly noteworthy. It's responsible for generating reasoning steps, synthesizing final answers, and even handling input sanitation. This last point is crucial. It's a built-in defense mechanism against potential code injection attacks. In contrast, G1 adopts a more integrated approach. Instead of separating concerns into distinct classes, G1 incorporates its chain of thought logic directly into the main application flow. While this might seem less organized at first glance, it does offer some advantages in terms of streamlined execution. One area where G1 really shines is its error handling. The project implements a robust retry mechanism, giving API calls up to three attempts before conceding defeat. In a world of intermittent network issues and occasional server hiccups, this kind of resilience can be invaluable. Now let's talk about prompt engineering, a critical aspect of working with language models. Pocket Grok takes a flexible stance here. It provides a default prompt, but allows for easy customization. This adaptability can be a significant asset when fine-tuning the system for different use cases or experimenting with various prompt strategies. G1, on the other hand, opts for a more prescribed approach. It utilizes a fixed, highly detailed system prompt that explicitly guides the model through the reasoning process. While less flexible, this method potentially offers more consistent outputs, which can be advantageous in certain applications. An interesting feature of G1 is its implementation of thinking time tracking. It measures how long the AI spends on each reasoning step, providing valuable metadata about the model's performance. This kind of insight could be incredibly useful for optimizing prompts or identifying areas where the model struggles. Pocket Grok, while lacking this timing feature, has its own clever implementations. Its parsing method is particularly sophisticated, capable of handling various response formats, be it numbered lists, bullet points, or unstructured text. This versatility in parsing makes Pocket Grok more robust when dealing with different model outputs. From an extensibility standpoint, Pocket Grok has a clear advantage. Its use of an abstract LLM interface makes it relatively straightforward to integrate different AI providers. G1, in comparison, is more tightly coupled to the Grok API. While this might allow for deeper optimization, it does limit flexibility. Both projects showcase interesting approaches to input handling. Pocket Grok implements explicit input sanitation and step validation, adding an extra layer of security and reliability. G1 relies more heavily on the structured output from the language model, which, assuming the model consistently follows instructions, can be an efficient approach. In essence, these projects represent two different philosophies in software design and AI integration. Pocket Grok emphasizes modularity, extensibility, and robust input handling. G1, conversely, focuses on tight integration, performance tracking, and resilience to API failures. As we continue to explore and refine chain of thought implementations, it's likely we'll see further innovations drawing inspiration from both of these approaches. The field of AI is rapidly evolving and projects like Pocket Grok and G1 are at the forefront, pushing the boundaries of what's possible in machine reasoning. 